It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Hey Stushy gang, welcome or welcome back to another video with your girl Stushy. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. And if you're a return subscriber, then welcome back. So today I wanted to hop on here, sit down and show you guys what I recently picked up from Sephora. Y'all yeah, know I live in Sephora, literally. <laughs> So if you're interested in seeing what I recently picked up from Sephora, then keep on watching. Make sure that you watch this video in its entirety because there are usually bloopers at the end of all my videos. You don't want to miss that. And if you actually enjoy watching today's video, don't head out without leaving your girl a big thumbs up and comment something down below, whether it may be a question about a product. Feel free to do so. Let's continue the conversation down below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's haul. This is my Sephora bag. My look is matching my Sephora bag. I think that'd be really cute for the thumbnail. So let me go ahead and get that right now. One of those is going to hit. So I'm not going to drag this out too long. I just want to hop on here and show you guys some of the things that I recently picked up. And all the products mentioned in today's video will also be linked down below. So you can check that out down there. So the first thing that I picked up was actually this Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I actually own one of these mists already. And I actually purchased it from BoxyCharm when they had a sale. But I wanted to pick up another one. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of these. So this is the one that I currently own. I'm going to leave the one that I recently picked up in the package. Because I really and truly just purchased it because one it was on sale and because two I actually like the fact that it's actually infused with 24 carats of gold you can see the gold floating through the formula the next thing that I picked up the next thing that I picked up finally were the Fenty Beauty glass balm cream so I actually picked up every single shade at first I only picked up three of the shades but I wanted to come on here and give you guys a um, try on haul including all of the new glass balm creams from Fenty Beauty so that's why I went ahead and picked up the other two shades but in my vlog if you watch my vlogs if you don't watch my vlogs I highly recommend you check them out but um, I mentioned that I picked up three of them in one of my most recent vlogs but I actually went and picked up two more so now I own all five of the Fenty Beauty glass balm creams in if y'all know, y'all know. If you don't know, I'm about to tell you. I love anything that Rihanna creates or I love the majority of the things that she creates. Not everything is a hit. I'll say that in my opinion. But for lip products, she definitely has that down pat. She locked the game with the lip products. So today I'm actually wearing the color cookie jar. It looks really, really good. All I did was line my lips, but if you guys would actually like to see me try on each and every single shade, I'll go ahead and leave the video to that up above because I am actually recording a video for that. And by the time you guys see this video, that video will be up. So make sure you guys check that out. But I'll take each and every one of them out of the package just so you guys can see them. I'm a collector when it comes to certain things, so I feel like it would be wrong for me to not have the whole com collection. So these are they. Don't mind my thumb prints. I know. They are gorgeous. I'm so happy that I finally was able to pick these up. If you didn't watch my vlog, I mentioned that I didn't pick them up when they were initially released because that was around Christmas and I wanted to make sure that I was spending my money on people on gifts instead of on myself so that's why I didn't pick them up that's why I waited so long to pick them up but now we finally have them and they're part of the collection and they look marvelous and each one of these retail for $19 but I feel like all of her lip products are worth the cost because they're just that good y'all see how good my lips look the next thing that I picked up was the new Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 71 Hair and Body Mist. This smells so good. I was actually at work and I smelled it and I was like, nah, I need this. It smells so good, you guys. If you guys are familiar with um, the Bum Bum Cream, it has a similar scent to the Bum Bum Cream by the same brand Sol de Janeiro. But it's just a little bit sweeter in my opinion and you definitely smell more of like a vanilla, more of a caramel in this fragrance. So the fragrance notes on the top includes caramelized vanilla and sea salt. The mid is toasted macadamia nut and white chocolate. <laughs> and the dry is the tonka bean and coconut blossom. I don't know what coconut blossom is but I'll definitely be looking that up. So again this is a hair and body fragrance mist and it smells marvelous so I'll probably be keeping this in my room. I have a mini to the original bum bum spray in my bag that I keep whenever I'm traveling but this is going to be staying in my room. It smells marvelous you guys. Let's just spray some on us right now why not. I'm only in the house ain't nothing going on. It's a hair and body mist so I the little spritz up there too. And the Cherosa um, hair and body mist actually retails for $19, which isn't bad. You get three fluid ounces in here. The next product that I picked up was actually from Rare Beauty. I got one of Selena Gomez's new blush. These recently came out and I saw this color and I was like, nah, I have to have it. So I did get the color Nearly Berry. 
if you didn't know my last name is Barry so any product or anything that has the name Barry in it or has Barry somewhere in the notes or something like that I feel the need to pick it up so I got this one and I actually really like the color as well when Rare Beauty initially came out I picked up some of her products and one of the products that I'm always talking about on my beauty videos if you guys watch my beauty videos then you know but I really really love her liquid blush in the color love love that blush and I said that I was gonna pick up another blush from her line but she came out with new blushes so I was like okay let me go ahead and try these out so this is the stay vulnerable melting blush in the color nearly berry and for me it was definitely the packaging it's so cute you guys so this is gonna be my first time actually opening it so let's see nah this on melanated skin though this is gorgeous and it has a cute little mirror inside. This is so cute. She gets an A plus for the packaging for this product. A plus. So I'll definitely be using this in an upcoming video. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it <laughs> already. And the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush actually retails for $21, which I feel like is not bad for a blush. And with the packaging that you get for this product it's beautiful I feel like that's well worth my $21 like I'm a sucker for packaging so if you have good packaging you can make me buy anything okay I'm just being honest and the last thing that I picked up was a fragrance so over the holidays I did buy four of Sephora's um, fragrance gift boxes or gift sets and with those you're able to get a few different samplers in each gift box and the box also comes with a voucher that you can bring back to the store to redeem for a full size of any one of those fragrances that you like from the sampler so I picked up four of them I picked up one for my dad I picked up one for my work secret Santa because I know she wanted a fragrance from the store I also picked up one for my mom and I picked up one for myself so if I could find the box or if I could find the gift box to show you guys what it looks like like I'll go ahead and leave that up on the screen here it included a few different fragrances a few different popular fragrances that a lot of females love the fragrance that I ended up choosing from the sampler box was the Carolina Herrera good girl which is what I'm holding right here so I was able to go in and redeem my full-size Carolina Herrera after smelling all of the samples that came in the box so I'm gonna actually open this up with you guys I'm always promoting this product at work and I actually don't own it so I'm happy that I was finally able to get myself a bottle of the Carolina Herrera good girl because I'm a good girl I look like a good girl in today's video I'm really an angel if you know me but am I <laughs> let's not dive too deep into that but let's go ahead and unbox this fragrance I'm so excited if you guys are not familiar with Carolina Herrera fragrances her packaging is usually top here okay So the voucher that came in my fragrance gift box actually allowed me to redeem the 1.7 fluid ounce of the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. So this is what the box actually looks like. Let's go ahead and open it. If you guys have never seen this perfume before, the perfume bottle before, you're going to be like, wow, that's really nice. So let's open her up. It is absolutely stunning. Stunning. So the perfume actually comes in a shoe bottle and you can actually spray from right here. You guys hear that clicky sound? This is such an amazing scent and it comes in such an amazing bottle. So I cannot wait to sit this on my vanity, you guys. And I didn't mention, but this is actually an Audi perfume. So it's actually smack in the middle between our perfume and a um, toilet. So it definitely will last throughout the day, but it won't last maybe as long as a perfume will. So I'm super excited about this bottle. It's just perfect. If I wear perfume, I'd look something like this, to be honest. So very happy about this pickup. So being that this was redeemed using a voucher that I picked up from Christmas, it doesn't actually have a price on my receipt, but to my knowledge, it retails for $98. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, I'll leave the correct price up on the screen, but I believe it retails for $98 if my memory serves me correct. So you yeah guys those are all the products that I recently picked up from Sephora I hope you guys really really like today's video I'm hella excited about all of these products today I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you guys own any of the products mentioned in today's video down below and if you haven't already subscribed I really hope that you subscribe down below so that way you can officially become a part of the swish yang make sure that if you like today's video you don't head out don't run out that door don't close the tab before leaving your girl a big thumbs up and make sure your post notification is turned on so that you're alerted by YouTube whenever I upload the next video and with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for checking in for today's haul. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.
So again, this is a hair and so again, this is a hair and f so if you're interested in watching what is it? from so so yeah. I'm so excited to, oh, I'm so excited about all of these products. <laughs>